Okay, so think about this for a moment, okay? When it comes to Mac OS 12 Monterey that I have here, there's only a one year gap between this version that we have this year and the one that we had previously Mac OS Pixel. So it means that most of the work that was put into this update was done by people working remotely and from home. So it's impressive how much Apple was able to change and put into a software update by people working from home. And I know when it comes to Mac OS 12 Monterey, just by looking at it, you know, visually, it doesn't seem like it brings about any major visual changes. However, it does have some new features and changes that were not mentioned, some which are hidden. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of those. The first thing that we want to get out of the way has to do with the versioning scheme that has been confirmed by this update. So now with each new year, Apple is going to release a full update and not a point update like what we used to see with Mojave or Catalina. So Bixa was a full 11 number and Monterey as you can see here is Mac OS 12. So next year we are going to have Mac OS 13. I looked around in the OS and also played around with some apps and some settings to see what I could provide for you. So when you open up your system preferences and then go to the display section of your Mac, the moment you go there and you don't have an external device connected, you're going to notice that this is exactly Big Sur. And even the wallpaper that's portrayed here, you can see that it's a wallpaper that's showing Big Sur, but there are some changes portrayed or hidden behind what you are seeing here the moment you connect an external display or a secondary monitor you get a new updated screen and that screen as you can see has some peripheral devices you have a mouse and a keyboard Mac OS 12 Monterey being a new update is going to have a ton of new splash screen and there's one that has to do with look up that I would like to highlight for you so if you for example open up your notes and type in any specific word that you want to know the meaning to and look up the word, you will see the new splash screen that I'm talking about. So it says that lookup now shows personalized suggestions from the web, iTunes, the App Store, movie short times, locations nearby, and more. To make suggestions more relevant to you, lookup includes your approximate location with search requests to Apple. You can adjust this in system preferences and if you want to learn more, there's always a link there that you can click on and you'll be able to learn more. Safari was talked about a lot when it comes to Mac OS 12 Monterey. However, there's a new feature that I want to show you. So if you go to your search portion in Safari and and type in anything, for example, let's type in half man, half tech. When you select the text and go to where it says services, you can see that you have quite a number of new services that were added. You can always feel free to see some of the new ones, but I wanna bring to your attention this one that says add to music as a spoken track. So whatever you have typed, you can actually uh, have it spoken to you as in the music app. And as you can see, you can choose the system voice that you want to uh, say the words that you have typed or want to audify and you can choose where to save it and if you click continue it actually opens up the music app and let's just give it a moment as it loads up we have text to speech and when you click there and you play the audio so let's play the audio and hear half man half tech half man half tech <laughs> that is the pronunciation or the accent of the voice that I selected. On the Mac, if something is using your camera or your webcam, you can always see the green light that's indicated on the Mac and then you get to know. However, now with Mac OS 12 Monterey, there is now better privacy management when it comes to audio or the microphone. So if you look in the top corner of the Mac there, you see that just besides the control center, there's a little yellow dot or orange dot. And once that shows up, it means that there's something that's using your mic in the background. In this case, you can see that Zoom is using my microphone. If you have multiple applications or multiple softwares in the background using your microphone or recording you secretly, then you can always see that here in the system preferences. If you are a person who likes Memojis, then Mac OS 12 Monterey makes it possible for you to actually use your Memojis that you set on your different devices like the Apple Watch and iPhone. So if you go into your system preferences and go to your profile 
or your iCloud uh, profile picture and click where it says edit you can see that you now have more options here on the left hand side you have the option for memojis emojis monogram so if you go to the memoji section right there you can see this one that I have preset using my iPhone so it's synchronized since this device is synced to my iCloud and if you go away it says pause you can choose the pause that you want your memoji to display whenever you power on your Mac and if you want a style or back background you can choose the style that you want here and that's something that's good for those that like memojis and just in case you want monograms you can select the monogram here and choose the one that you want and if you want to identify like your first name or digit like that we'll put b here for ben if you want to erase or completely reset your mark Apple now made it a little bit easier for people with any 2017 and newer Macs by just going into your system preferences and totally resetting your Mac. So it makes it very easy. And Mr. Macintosh, one of my friends here on YouTube, did a video on that. I will leave it in the description of this video. And you can see how you can do that. Since mine is 2016, it doesn't support this feature. You need a 2017 and newer, and you can simply just reset your Mac as good as you can reset your iPhone. It's as easy as that. You might recall in my initial video that I did when it comes to Mac OS 12 monitor array beta one that I could not access quick note initially but now after restarting my mark I believe like two or three times it shows up so all you have to do is take your cursor and take it towards the bottom right section of your mark like that and you can see that this quick note shows up and it sort of stays there for about eight to ten seconds that's the time I managed to count and when you pull it up you can click on it like this and type whatever you want you can always leave it midway and whenever you go to your iPad you'll be able to pick up from where you left over on the Mac. Talk about continuity. So with Mac OS 12 Monterey Apple introduces SF Symbol 3 with over 600 new icons, hierarchical color, customization, and inspector. If you want to download all those SF Symbols, I will leave a link in the description of this video where you can do that and check out those new SF Symbol. Over 600, that's, that's quite a bit. Another new thing that comes to Mac OS 12 is the ability to generate two-factor authentication by means of its built-in authenticator. So now Mac OS 12 Monterey has the ability to generate verification codes needed for additional sign-in security. So if a site offers two-factor authentication, you can go into your system preferences. Let's do that right there. And then go to where it says passwords you come up to a screen that says passwords are locked because this is protected and confidential information and once you input your passcode you see some of your saved passcodes and now with Mac OS 12 Monterey there's no need to download an additional authenticator app once you set up verification codes will automatically fill when you sign into the site that you have input your passcodes you can do this through the system preferences like I showed or you can go into Safari into the system preferences and do that there for specific select sites and just keep in mind that not all websites support this two-factor authentication method and with time for those that do support this more and more are being added so basically those are some of the new and extra features that i wanted to share with you when it comes to mac os 12 monterey 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 in canada we have a city that's called montreal so i just say monterey thank you so much for watching and reaching this far into the video if you enjoyed it a sub to the channel will be fantastic Stay safe and have fun with this update and I'll definitely see you in the next update very soon.